Hey guys, welcome to the Stanley Skater channel. So, are the Adidas Superstar ADVs worth it in 2023? I just got done skating these shoes now. Um, I've been skating them since probably November of 2022. It's now March 2023, but I've been skating like here and there. It's not been like all the time because I'm really busy with work. So just, uh, I'd say like three to four times a week here and there. Missing a couple of weeks though. Um, and as you can see, they are absolutely ruined now. And I'm gonna swap these out and skate something completely different. But I just wanted to give my opinion on these shoes because they are really good. And I wanna explain why that is. Okay, so just a little bit more clarification. I've actually had these shoes for about a year and a half. And before I started skating them in November or something like that, I'd been wearing them for about a year, just walking about and then like not using them as my skate shoe, just like using them as my, my daily just trainer. Um, so when I got to skate in them, they were broken in. Uh, but the board feel is like insane with these. So they're a little bit thicker towards the heel, um, which is good because it helps with heel bruise. It gets thinner towards towards the toe of the shoe, um, but they are really good. They have like really good board feel. Something these shoes do have um, is a pretty thin insole though. So the older version of this, this shoe, the Superstar Volk ADVs, they didn't actually have an insole like this. It was a lot thicker. I actually prefer that. Um, I think to like a lot of the skateboarding community, a lot of people hated that because I think the design of it, it, it was really good. Like, um, so it had, like you could come away from a skate session like without bruised feet, but the way the, of like the design of the, the, um, the insole, it, it just, people didn't like it because it used to pull your sock back. I actually never had any issues with that. So I, I gotta say, I do prefer the older version of these shoes and, and I do actually have my like old version of these shoes. So I'll get them out sometime and do a completely different video, a comparison video. Okay, so also the toe cap, that's like, as you can see, it's, we're nowhere near getting through that yet. But um, even for like three or four months of like skating, still not broken through, which is really good. However, the lace eyelets and the laces themselves, they tear through super easily, unfortunately, which is a real shame because once it like breaks, it kind of exposes that rubber there and it just looks like, as you can see, it just looks super whack to be fair. Um, that was also a problem with the older version of these shoes as well. So not really a lot you can do about that. But yeah, the laces, they rip super easily down the bottom, which isn't ideal. So I'm just gonna unlace these now. Um, and I'm gonna show you the tongue of these shoes. Okay, that should be enough. So, as you can see, the tongue, it's really thin. The tongue is really thin. Um, and it's elasticated as well. It's elasticated down to keep your, your foot snug. I prefer the older version of this shoe. They were a lot thicker. Um, actually had a bit of padding in it. it. Kind of felt not as good as a Booznitz Pro, but kind of like an Adidas Booznitz Pro if you've ever had that shoe. However, your laces, um, when you do them up, they kind of, they obviously tighten up like that. So it kind of protects the tongue a little bit. So there'd be a few times where my board would come down and just like strike me in the foot and that wouldn't be too great, but oh well. So this shoe is actually a cup sole where the older version, they were vulcanized. It was like a vulcanized instead. Um, and the material that they're made from now. Um, I don't know what kind of material this is actually, but um, it used to be suede. This might be a different kind of suede, but my older version, they're like a black suede. And honestly, like the color just looks a bit different. As you can see, it's kind of like a lighter black. Um, it never really used to be like that with the older version. In terms of durability, I mean, they last a really long time. I've been walking about in these for a year and then about four or five months of skating as well, just like here and there. 
and I mean this is this is um this is my right shoe so I'm regular footed so this would be like my goofy foot shoe as you can see it's like I'm still good to be fair it's not really trashed it just it sort of bends up and down a little but yeah it's cool compared to my other foot it's yeah that one's pretty ruined I'm gonna change out my shoes now anyway I gotta say the design on these is crazy to be fair I really like the the superstar look classic 90 shoe I've actually skated the so I've skated like all three versions of these so I've skated the original superstars which aren't the skateboarding version just like the regular superstars I've skated the ADVs and I've skated the superstar bulk ADV so I've had about three or four pairs of these shoes total and I gotta say they are they're pretty good so how much they cost it depends on the retailer I picked these up I think for about 80 pounds um, a year and a half ago I know the new Kada collab shoes just came out they're in like purple and green and brown they're really crazy they look so good I really want to try a pair of those I don't know how different they are um, unless they just say like Kada's name and I know like the suede might be a different material because of the color or whatever but I'd say if you could pick these up for a really good deal, then you should definitely try them out. I, they're definitely going to be one of the most durable, hard-working shoes that you'll ever, you'll ever skate in. Also, one of the best-looking shoes you'll ever skate. And that's the Tread after a year and a half. And not even worn through, to be honest. They've still got a lot of life in them. I just want to change them out now because... Honestly, I've had them for a year and a half and I'm just kind of getting bored of them now, so I think I'm actually going to swap out to some Some new balance. I got some new balance 272s. I'm just gonna wear those instead Soon I'm gonna do a comparison video um, Between the ADVs and the bulk ADVs uh, And what happened to the bulk ADVs, why they aren't getting sold anymore why they've like been replaced by the ADV, but what's going on with that whole situation? I'm gonna make a video on that real soon. So overall, are the Adidas Superstars worth it in 2023? Yeah, definitely. Definitely one of the best shoes you can get on the market. But if you know Adidas shoes, Adidas make really good skate shoes. Their skateboarding brand is really great. Great clothes, great, great shoes and they have a lot of great skaters to skate for them. I still stand by Adidas, they're one of my favorite skate brands ever. They're one of my favorite brands in general. So yeah, that's my sort of review on the Adidas Superstar ADV. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, like I said, I'm gonna have a comparison video coming out soon. Gonna have more skate videos coming out soon. So thank you very much for watching the video and have a great day.